In this video we're going to look at z-scores and percentile scores with normal distribution. So we'll do example 1 with IQ levels and a few questions with that. And example 2 we'll look at the heights of men in the US and some questions with that. So let's start with example 1 and IQ levels of the population of the US or probably any country are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Okay. So let's take this example. Jim's IQ level is 115. We're going to figure out how many standard deviations above or below the mean this is. Well, you could probably already tell me, right? <coughs> and when we get that, that is called the Z score. So um, as we've seen with the 6895.9.7 rule, um, if we look at this as a distribute, the IQ levels are distributed normally. Okay. So the mean is 100, and that goes there, that's the mean, 100, okay? And this this line is going to be one standard deviation above the mean, we'll call that 100, and, and that'll be 115, right? Two standard deviations above would be 130, three standard deviations above would be 145, right? So, um, and then if we go in this direction, a standard deviation below the mean would be 15, uh, points below which would be 85 and the next one would be so two standard de deviations below the mean would be what? so that's the mean right so two standard deviations below would be 70 and three standard deviations below would be what? <laughs> be 55 right? so um, that's this is the IQ level distribution and we can also make a little um, horizontal axis for the Z scores okay okay and we'll call these the Z scores and Z scores are simply measure how many uh, standard deviations above or below the mean you are so when you're at 100 you're right at the mean mu the mean right and so the, the z-score for, for 100 in this case is 0 because that is the mean. When you're at 115, that's 15 points more, that's one standard deviation more, that's a z-score of 1, one standard deviation. So z-score just means that the number of standard deviations above or below the mean, right? 130 is how many standard deviations? That's 2, right? And 145 is 3, right? Now 85 is one standard deviation less, it's 15 points less, so that's going to be have a z-score of negative 1. And 70 is two standard deviations less, that's going to have a score of negative 2, because it's two standard deviations below the mean, and 55 will have a z-score of negative 3. Okay? Now, now, hopefully, you could answer this entire thing almost. Well, the first th we'll answer this part anyway. If if Jim's IQ level is 115, <coughs> this is how many standard deviations above the mean. It is one, isn't it? And what I want to do is come up with a formula because I know you guys sometimes like formulas. I mean, you can remember how to do this if you want. You don't need a specific formula, but. If you want to get the Z score, okay, if you want to get the Z score, the Z score is going to be equal to take the value or the, the number you're working with and subtract the mean, which is mu, okay, the Greek letter for M, and divide by sigma, the, the, the standard deviation. So you take the value, you subtract the mean, and you divide by the standard deviation. So we've already figured out that this uh, z score is 1. It's not always going to be that simple. So we're just going to use this formula and see what happens. So if you wanted to calculate the z score for Jim, you would take his value, his, his IQ level, which is 115, and then you would subtract the mean, which is. 100, that's mu, right? And the standard deviation is 
15, that's sigma, right? So we'd subtract 100 and then you would divide by the standard deviation which is 15, okay? And that gives you 15 over 15 which is 1, right? So his z-score is 1 and what does z-score mean? He's one standard deviation above the mean. So we'll say above, sorry, you can do that, and then cross out below, right? So he's not below, he's above the mean, right? Now, next step is his IQ is higher, his IQ level is higher than what percent of the population? Well, let's take, um, let's take Jim here. So the mean is 100. His level is right here at the first standard deviation 115 his z score is 1 okay so if you look at the z's he'd be at 1 and <coughs> um, just to quickly go over what a normal distribution means again the mean IQ level is 100 that means that half of the population have an IQ level that is more than 100 it also means that half of the population have an IQ level that is less than 100. So 50% of the population have an IQ less than 100. 50% have an IQ more than 100. Does that make sense? Right? And we also we already saw the that you know the for the 68% rule would say 68% of the population have an IQ between 85 and 115. 95% of the population have an IQ between 70 and 130 and 99.7% have an IQ between 55 and 145, right? But in any case, with the z-scores what we do is, okay, Jim's IQ is 115 so his IQ level is higher than all these people. Now, what percentage of the population are all these people, right? And for that there's a complicated formula which we're not going to have to use which is great we're just going to look up a table in the book or in the, in the notes uh, whatever you can find it but it's it's the um, z-scores table right and what you do is well on this book it's page 376 but you find the table for z-scores and you've got to find z-score this is negative 2.7 see that but z-score 1 a z score of 1 is going to match up with a percentile score of 84.13. Okay, so hopefully you can find that a z score of 1 matches with a percentile score of 84.13. And what you do is you say, okay, what that means is that this this is the population that Jim scores higher than on the IQ test. And so and that 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 is 84 point one three percent of the population. So his IQ scored is as he has scored higher than eighty four point one three percent of the population and that is the percentile score. So this is the percentile score, the eighty four point one three percent. Okay. And um and his IQ is lower than what percent of the population? Can you figure that out on your own? His IQ is lower than what percent? <coughs> His IQ level is lower than this amount. Okay, all these people. Now, the entire population is represented by this curve. 84.13% of people are less have an IQ less than 115 so what percent have an IQ more than that any idea how you might calculate that well wouldn't you take say 100% and subtract 84.13% wouldn't that give it to you take all the people and subtract that amount what does that give plug that in the calculator So that would give you 15.87 when you subtract it, right? And so in other, in other words, so if you take Jim, he's at 115 and his IQ is less than 15.87% of the population, okay? So 
So um, let's have a look at another person's score. Bob's IQ level is 70. Um, find the Z score for Bob. Okay. So go ahead and, and, and do, do everything there for Bob. His Z score is. And again, it's the value, right? Wherever his value is, minus the mean over the standard deviation. And what's the mean and what's the standard deviation? Well, the mean, of course, is 100, standard deviation is 15. And what's Bob's level, IQ level? It is 70, or his IQ, what he scored on the IQ test is 70. So 70 subtract the mean, which is 100, okay, and divide by the standard deviation of 15. And that gives us what? that give you a negative 30 over 15 which is what negative 2 okay so what this means is if you look at your z scores okay where's negative 2 negative 2 is here and 70 is here right so this is exactly where bob is right let's let's put put this in and so you know so the mean is 100, his score is 70, he's down here with 70, okay, and if you imagine, if you look at the Z scores, you know, 100 corresponds to 0, and 70 corresponds to negative 2, right, that's the Z scores, right, or the number of standard deviations, so how many standard deviations is he above or below the mean? So a score of 70 is? It's isn't it two standard deviations below the mean, right? Two standard deviations below, and so that's what that's why it's a negative. It's negative two, so it's below. Now, so his score is here. Now, he has scored higher than all these people going off forever in this direction. Okay, does that make sense? And that's his percentile score. So. That's what that's what the normal distribution means is is he's higher than these people but he's lower than these people okay so can you fig take out your table and figure out how many people he's higher than how many people he's lower than so take out your z scores table and see if you can figure that out so I'll help you now. So you go to page, on this book it's page 376, but you might have this printed out or whatever as well if you want. But in any case, it's a common table. So if you go to negative 2 on the z-scores, or negative 2.0, right, that corresponds to what? Negative 2, 2.28, right? So the percentile score is 2.28. And what that means, what that means is, always, uh, the, the table means that his z-score is negative 2. That corresponds to percentile score of 2.28%. That means that is the percentage below negative 2. Okay, Percentage below. So we can say that his IQ is higher than right 2.28% of the population. That's his percentile score. Now, his his IQ score of 70 is lower than what percent of the population? Can you do that? So wouldn't you take 100% and subtract 2.28%? What does that give? Right? So 97.72%, right? So it is lower than these guys, 97.72% of the population. <coughs> okay. So see if you can press pause and figure this out for Mary. You might have to do a little bit of rounding when you get the z-score. But Mary's IQ level is 120. This is how many standard deviations above or below the mean. You know, calculate the z-score first of all. 
and their IQ is higher than what percent and lower than what percent of the population. So please press pause and do that and then I'll go over it with you. Okay, I hope you tried it. So to get the z-score, you've got to take the value, which is 120, subtract the mean, which is 100, and divide by the standard deviation of 15. And this will tell you how many standard deviations away from the mean we are, above or below. right? So that gives us 20 over 15, which is <coughs> 4 over 3, or you know, 1.333. And that's our z-score. Now when we go to the table, you might notice on the z-score table that all the z-scores are rounded to the nearest, to one decimal place. Okay, One decimal place. So what we need to do is round this number to one decimal place. Right? So we can look it up on the table. So we've got to round it to 1.3 because we've got to use that table. So that's the first thing. So 1.3 corresponds to percentile score of what? 1.3 on the z-score corresponds to percentile score of 90.32 right? so percentile score is 90.32 and what does that mean? okay so once again the beam is 100 uh, Mary comes in above um, <coughs> 115 is, is the first standard deviation. She comes in at 120, which is here. <coughs> and her Z score is 1.3, which means she's 1.3 standard deviations above the mean. Right, this is 1.3 standard deviations above the mean. On, uh, about. Well, it's 1.323 in fairness, but just uh, approximately that. And uh, so that's the z-score. And her, her IQ is higher than what percent of the population? Well, the percentile score is 90.32, and so that's the answer. 90.32 percent. Okay. And if you if you put on the graph, this is what it looks like. All these people. All these people are below an IQ of 120, so this is your 90.32 percent. Okay, and it, her IQ is lower than what percent of the population? Can you do that? Okay, so that lower would be these people here, everyone above 120. Okay, and what did, does that make? So once again, to get that, you would take 100 percent. You subtract 90.32% and then you get the answer, right? So that would be 9.68%. Okay. There's your 9.68% right there, so it's lower than 9.68. So on to example two. Heights of men in the US are normally distributed with a mean of 69.1 inches and standard deviation of about 2.65. What percentage of men are taller than 5 foot 11? Press pause and do that one. Press pause and try it. Okay, hope you tried it. I'm going to help you out now. So, yes, what you've got to do is calculate a z-score, probably, right? Because that's what we've been practicing, right? Now, um, let's just quickly have a bit of fun with this so 69.1 inches right that's the mean and the standard deviation is uh, 2.65 so uh, just for fun 69.1 I'm just doing this for fun don't need to but si uh, sorry 69.1 plus 2.65 is in fact 71.75 so like one standard deviation above the mean would be 71.75 okay so in any case I just did that for fun just to get an idea what the, the distribution looked like um, so 5 foot 11 is how many inches first of all so you gotta go 5 times 12 okay and then plus 11 right 5 times 12 that's 60 inches plus 11 that makes 71 inches right so 71 is gonna be just below one standard deviation isn't it you can see that there right 
but of course we've got to calculate the z score. So the z score for 5 foot 11 equals the value, which is 71, right? Minus minus what? Take your value, subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation, right? Subtract 69.1, divide by the standard deviation of 2.65. And go ahead and calculate that, right? 71 minus 69.1 is 1.9. So we should get 1.9 over 2.65. And that gives us <coughs> and did I make a mistake? I don't think so. Okay, so anyway, that gives us uh, 0 0.7169, etc. Now, of course, your z-scores on the table are rounded to the nearest tenth. So you should round your z-score to the nearest tenth so you can look it up on the table, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? So z-scores are 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So we need to round that to the nearest tenth and that would be 0 0.7. So our z-score, right, is approximately 0 0.7. What does that mean, by the way? That means that a height of 5 foot 11 is 0 0.7 standard deviations above the mean. Okay. So, once again, if you look at the z-scores, uh, the mean would be at 0, this would be at 1, but, but 7 uh, well, uh, 71 inches, which is about here, comes in at about 0 0.7 standard deviations above the mean. Okay, and uh, what percentage of men are are taller than this? Well, we've we've got to look up the percentile uh, score to figure out what the qu what the answer is. Just to figure out the answer. Okay, so z score is 0 0.7. The percentile score equals what? Let's check that out in the table. So for a z-score of 0 0.7 we have a percentile score of 75.80, right? So percentile score 75.80, what does that mean? That means that if you're 71 inches um, high or 5 foot 11 you are taller than 75.80% of the population. Why are we taller than three quarters, right? So, um, this question though says what percentage of men are taller than 5 foot 11, right? And what percentage of men are shorter than 5 foot 11? So can you answer these two questions now that you have the percentile score? Press pause and answer these two questions if you haven't done so yet. I hope you've tried it. I'm going to tr do it now. So, what percentage of men are shorter than 5 foot 11? The answer is 75.8%. These guys, they're all shorter, right? They're down here, 69, and then you've got less than that, right? <laughs> what percentage of men are taller than that? These guys here, right? So, you take this amount. And again, we go 100%, and then we subtract 75.8%, and we get the answer. So that would be 24.2, wouldn't it? Ah. Right. So 24.2%. 24.2% of people are taller. Of men are taller than that, and 75.8 or less. So, 24.2%, right, is the answer there. So, can you please press pause and calculate the answers to these? What percentage of men are taller than 6 foot 4? What percentage of men are shorter than 6 foot 4?
Okay, I'm going to do it now. So six foot four, I hope you'd press pause and try it. Six foot four is six times 12 plus four inches, right? Six times 12 is 72 plus four, that's 76 inches tall. So we want to first calculate a z-score. z-score would be the value, which is 76, minus the mean of 69.1, divided by the standard deviation of 2.65. Okay. So we go ahead and calculate that, and we should get 6.9 over 2.65, and then divide that, right? <coughs> And we get 2.603, etc., or approximately 2.6. So z score approximately 2.6 percentile. The score equals what? Look up the table and get the percentile score. So what percentile corresponds with 2.6? Is it 99.53? Right, 99.53. Okay. Which is a percentage, by the way, 0.53%. So what we have is, once again, the mean at 69.1. First standard deviation, 71.75, um, which is here. There's the mean. There's that. And then our score here is 76. And 76 is 2.6 standard deviations above the mean. Here's 1, here's 2. So it's about here. Yeah, that's where 76 occurs. And our Z, if you look at your Z axis, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2. And right here, again, is about 2.6. Okay? And um, in any case, so for someone that's six four, they are taller than all these people. What percentage of men? Uh, so, uh, and they're shorter than just these few amount of people up here, men up here. Okay. So what we do now is we get the percentage of these areas. Okay. And the percentile score, of course, gives us this one, 99.53%. So you can see that 99.53% of men are, in fact, shorter than 6 foot 4. And what percentage are taller than 6 foot 4? We take 100 and subtract 99.53, and we get 0 0.47. So 0.47%. So what percentage of men are, in fact, taller than 6 foot 4? 0.47%. What percentage of men are shorter than 6 foot 4? There's your 99.53%. Okay? So if you have a friend who's 6 foot 4, you can tell them this. And this is in fact true. Didn't make it up. This is all true.